Hi, this is Presh Talwalkar. In this video, I'm going to teach you a trick to multiply two numbers very quickly in your head if the two numbers have a special property. What you want to look for is you want to see if the two numbers have units digits, which add up to 10, and they have the tens digit, which is the same. So this sounds kind of complicated, but just go through some of the examples. It'll actually be a pretty impressive trick uh, when you can pull it off randomly. So let's do 83 times 87. This multiplication problem works because 3 plus 7 is 10, and the tens digit of 8 is the same between the two numbers. So the trick you want to do, the first step is you multiply the units digits together, which is 3 times 7, which gets 21. The second step is you take the tens digit and multiply it by one more than itself. In this problem, the tens digit is 8, so we take 8 times one more than itself, 9, and that gives us 72. And that's our answer. 83 times 87 is 7221. To do another example, 32 times 38. We multiply the units digits together. 2 times 8 is 16. Then we take the tens digit of 3 and multiply it by one more than itself, 4, to get 12. So 32 times 38 is 1216. If we want to do 91 times 99, we multiply the units digits together, and 1 times 9 is 9, but we make a small adjustment and write it as a two-digit answer. We then continue, and we multiply the tens digit by one more than itself. So 9 times 10 is 90. And that gets us our answer of 9009. Let's say we want to do 45 times 45. This multiplication problem works because 5 plus 5 is 10, and the tens digits are the same. So our first step, we multiply the units digits. 5 times 5 is 25. Then we take the tens digit of 4 and multiply it by one more than itself to get 20. Some of you will notice this is actually, this problem we've done uh, is actually a special case of a previous video I made called squaring a number that ends in 5. We can also extend this to three digit numbers. Let's say we want to do 124 times 126. We multiply the units digits of 4 times 6 to get 24. And now we multiply the rest of the digits. So we have 12 in both numbers, and we need to multiply it by 12 plus 1, 13. Some of you will know what this is. Others of you will know that 12 times 13 is 156 because it's on the cover of my book, Multiplying Numbers by Line. But quite amazingly, this procedure will work even for three digit numbers. So why is this going to work? I'm going to give you a simple proof. When we multiply two digits where the tens digit are the same and the units digits add up to 10, this is the same as multiplying 10x plus y times 10x plus 10 minus y. The green y and 10 minus y add up to 10 and the 10x is the same in both quantities. That's our tens digit. So we're going to go through some algebra. We first expand out the product, and we end up with several terms, four terms. We then expand out further, and now we can see there's some cancellation that can be done. The 10xy minus 10xy cancels out. So we have 100x squared plus 100x plus 10 minus y times y. And that brings us to our answer. When we factor out the 100x, we get 100x times x plus 1 plus 10 minus y times y. So the quantity in green, this is multiplying the units digits together, y and 10 minus y. And the quantity in black is multiplying x times x plus 1. So that's where we get our rule. I hope you liked the video. Please subscribe to my channel. I make videos on math and game theory. You can also catch me on my blog, Mind Your Decisions, on Twitter at Presh Talwalker, or get my books at Amazon.